Welcome back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more. Acres solutions for every field. I'm Jessica Cootie, and we have started a summer series getting to know the newcomers of both Nebraska men's and women's hoops. And up today is Logan Nisley of Nebraska women's basketball, freshman out of North Dakota. How are you doing? I'm good. We just got into our first week, so it's been really exciting to get, get together with everybody and just kind of get into the swing of things. Well, we're kind of just uh, letting Husker fans get to know you a little bit. You just moved in, right, over yeah. the last couple of weeks? Yeah, just on Friday. Friday. Yep. How was that? It was good. It was really cool. A lot of the girls came out. All the coaches came and helped us and just kind of got us into our new homes and helped us get comfortable. And we got to get to know each other a little bit, too, me and my new roommate. And you got the dorm all settled and situated how you like it and decorated? For the most part. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of struggled getting things on the walls, but hopefully in the next year or so I get that figured out. I know that was one of the things you said about when you came here on your visit about the family feel. So how special was that for you to have them there welcoming you when you got when you got here? Yeah, it was really cool. I mean, my parent, both my parents, then my boyfriend was with me, and even they were talking about it that night. Like, I just can't believe how many people on the team and the coaching staff and even some of our managers. I know like Jace and Logan were there and just helping us get into that like form of family. Um, I think a lot of it is like when you're a newcomer here, you're kind of stressed out and have some anxiety, but they make it really fun and easy for us. So do they help you guys move, like actually physically pick up stuff and move? Yep. They, Who would you most likely hire to help you move in? Well, we all had the bins, so <laughs> none of us really had to carry much, which is good. Um, but I don't know, probably Coach Jay. Okay. Yeah, he had those strong muscles going, so. Awesome. Well, take me back to your recruiting visit, because, I mean, you were a highly recruited uh, player and had a lot of different options, I know, and it's, I know it's a stressful time as well. So what was it about Nebraska that you felt like it would be a good fit? Yeah, honestly, um, when I was going through my recruiting process, I really wanted to get out of the Midwest. Um, I didn't want to stay here. I wanted to kind of branch out. But um, we were down here for my brother's baseball tournament in Omaha, and my parents were like, let's just go on a visit. Let's see how you like it, because I really loved the coaching staff. Um, and so I was like, okay. So I went on my visit, and just from that, I didn't even meet any of the girls, nothing like that. I saw the facilities, and they were really great, and that made it super cool to just kind of look at from that point of view. But going through my visit with all the coaches there, just kind of telling me how much of a family aspect their team is, um, and then kind of explain to me how they do things, and just talking to Coach Amy and Mays, and then Coach Gailey at the time, um, it was just such an incredible feeling. I mean, that's kind of how my recruiting process was, was the feelings in my gut and how the coaches made me feel, the girls made me feel. And so I really got a whole family loving, um, very like, get, let's get to work type of feeling from the Huskers. And that kind of came to it. I read a quote somewhere that you said was really cool. They made me feel like a person, not an athlete. 100%, yes. Why was that so important to you? I feel like sometimes when you're talking about going to a Division One college or even D2, D3, they're focused on how good you are as an athlete. Um, and I think sometimes we kind of get lost in that and mm -hmm. forget how important it is to be a person too. And so them prioritizing that really helped me prioritize that. And so I think them helping me grow as a person is 100% more important as growing as an athlete. Wow, super special perspective. Well, um, you played both volleyball and basketball. You were the player of the year for North Dakota, uh, both in volleyball and basketball, multiple times. Yeah. So how did you land on basketball? Was that always what you kind of felt like that'd be your sport? For sure. I think ever since I was younger, I played basketball starting when I was three. And so I just kind of fell in love with the game. I've had a lot of roadblocks with it. Um, but 100% it's always kind of been basketball. You, um, I watched a awesome video that I think it was your local TV station that did on you and you said that you told your parents at a very young age you wanted to be a champion. Tell us that story and why you felt like so long at such a young age you realized that hey you wanted to compete and you wanted to win. Yeah so both my parents played sports in college and so I think it started right when I was a young kid um, and then it's just kind of been grown into me and my brother. Um, but yeah, I was just sitting in my room one day, we were talking about what I want to do in life and how I want to keep going in my basketball career. Um, and I told them, I was like, I want to win. 
And they were kind of just, you know, parents. They're like, okay, you can, you can do that. We'll go play sports, whatever. I'm like, no, I want to win championships. I want to be a national championship. And then whatever conference at that time I was wanting to be in, but now it's about like being a Big Ten champion, helping my team be as successful as they can be. That's awesome. So you go on to win multiple state titles in both volleyball and basketball. Do you have a favorite or maybe one that's a little bit more special than the others? So uh, my sophomore year of basketball is the only state championship that we got to storm the court. Oh. And so that's probably my favorite. Um, it just kind of got that like whole TV state championship feeling. Um, all the other ones were COVID and at an away event center. And so that was probably my favorite just because you got the whole feeling in it. Oh, that's awesome. So how did volleyball, playing both volleyball and basketball, shape you into the athlete that you became? Yeah, I think definitely being a multi-sport athlete helps. Um, obviously, there's things in volleyball that you do that translate into basketball, getting the high, higher vertical. I think communication is a big thing that gets lost in that whole translation. Um, in volleyball, that's all you have to do is communicate. I think people get it confused for a lot of energy, but it's really just a lot of communication. And so that translated into basketball. We work a lot on that. Just in this first week that we talk about is communication and communication. Like we just have to communicate no matter what we're doing and then hopefully that'll keep us as a bonding team and help us grow together. And you're a big volleyball fan, right? You're excited to watch some volleyball oh, here yes. in Lincoln. 100%. And living with Lainey? Yep. Joe Boy? Yep. Yeah, that's awesome. Very cool. So you have your tickets already or? Yeah, I honestly, pretty hard to get. <laughs> yeah, I honestly haven't really got anything um, in that part of it done. I've been really focused on just getting my schoolwork done for Mays. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. I'm sure it could be such a whirlwind just kind of getting settling in. We had Coach Williams on here last week, and she was talking about you know, getting you back fully healthy. How are you feeling? What's, what's that progress look like for you? For sure, definitely better. Um, I think coming into this, I was a little bit nervous about it, but I've been working a lot with Ben and Alex on just getting my strength up, um, getting my confidence back in those parts of my body that were not working before. Um, so definitely just keeping um, my progress going up instead of backwards, and hopefully by the time I need to be ready, I'll be ready. She had also said that for this team, um, we're focusing on a lot of individual type work and growing in that way. What, what is that, or what area of your game in that regard are you trying to really focus on this summer? For sure, definitely uh, like speed and agility. I think just going from high school to college, that's a big thing that a lot of athletes need to work on. Um, but then also just my confidence and like my skill work and putting in a lot of extra time, getting that confidence and prep into going into the season will hopefully help me translate my game. Coach lights up talking about how well you shoot the basketball. How did that become such an important part of your game? I honestly don't really remember. <laughs> um, my dad and I would go to the gym at like 5 o'clock in the morning before school. I don't know why. That's really early. But we would just go there and have a lot of fun. We really bonded over basketball. My whole family did. And so every day at the gym, he'd make me uh, make 10 threes from each spot and then make 10 free throws in a row before I could leave. And so just, I think, Doing that, I found like love in shooting the ball. Um, obviously, I love the game of basketball. That's probably my favorite part. Um, and so, just seeing like how the crowd and the team lights up when a three goes in, or making a big play like that, I think that brings energy up and just kind of lights up the room in an arena, especially like PBA. I'm really excited to play in there. But I think just yeah, that part of it made me fall in love with shooting, and so that's kind of just stayed with me. So looking at the stats last year, and you're talking about a team that shot a lot of threes and made a lot of threes. That's <laughs> going to be pretty exciting for, uh, for a shooter, right? Yes, definitely. Uh, how uh, was that part of, did you kind of look at that and how Coach Williams works with her guards and kind of the freedom that they get in? Was that important for you as well to see how that works in your game? Yes, I definitely looked at like the uh, scheme and how they like to play uh, both offensively and defensively. And I think that was one thing that stood out was just the freedom offensively. Obviously, we have our different breaks and different plays and stuff like that that we'll run. But the freedom to just kind of go with the flow and knock down a three here, there is definitely something that is lighting up my brain. What do you need to do to be able to come in and, and make an immediate impact for this team? I think just show my skills right away in practices um, and not be afraid of that. I know our coaches are big on energy and big on communication, and so just not being a little scared freshman um, that is stereotypical for college, I think just getting out of my box a little bit and helping in whatever way they need me, not getting so um, categorized into, okay, I'm going to shoot this and that, but just helping in whatever way they really need me. What else do Husker fans need to know about Logan Nisley? 
Oh gosh, um, I'm really excited just to kind of like branch out and get to know a lot of the Husker fans. I know my first visit here, I talked about um, one of the ladies at the game came up to me and I was committed here, but nothing else. And I told her that I committed to play basketball here and she just lighted, or yeah, lighted up and um, kind of talked about like the family aspect of it. And so that was really cool. But just kind of come up to me. I'm a very opening, open arms person, welcoming, and so I'm really excited to get to know everybody. Well, we're excited to have you. Husker Nation's excited to have you, and I uh, can't wait to see you out on the court. I know you guys have already started team workouts and all of that. How, was that an adjustment for you the first time out on the court? A little the bit, yeah. Team? <laughs> a little bit. Just kind of like, whoa, this is super cool, super fun. Little me would really, really like where she's at right now. So that's oh, really cool. That's amazing. I yeah. love that. Well, thank you so much for your time. Yeah, and thank again, you. Can't wait to chat with you more. First of many interviews, I'm just yes, warning you. thank you. <laughs> Logan Isley with Husker Women's Basketball. All right, buckle up and put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office.